Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming today again with another Hearts of Iron 4 video where we play with the United Kingdom. Gonna make the United Kingdom great again. Uh, last time I just got 42 volunteer divisions or expeditionary forces from Greece, which we are deploying on the front over here. Uh, did shorten the blue front line to just like German territory in order to get German finally to capitulate, which would be very, very nice if we managed to do that. Um, so the focus is still to push towards Hamburg with the tanks and on the other hand we are doing not too bad on the whole frontline area thingy. I still have not a lot of manpower so I could still change my manpower laws. But I'm gonna hit play here for a second. I'd rather not do that mid-war. Mid Up here, yeah, they are on a standstill, that's good. Because, yeah, <coughs> it could be better, it could be worse. Yeah, the tanks are doing stuff. The Greek troops are actually filing in, which is nice. I don't know where they all are. Most of them will come. Uh, that's just like the last pockets of resistance up here. That's pretty nice. That's this big, huge army in over here, which is dealing with that stuff. It's like seven divisions on that one. Okay, yeah, move it like this. Kill all of that. Then kill this. And then kill this. Well, actually, U6. You could kill this already. Something like that. Perfect. Because then we can take this area down here back, and then I can move them into Europe as well. So, oh crap. Lost uh, three divisions in the Red Army already. Ooh, look at that. They're making a push for, for, for Switzerland, which won't help them because they cannot get into Switzerland. Still, I don't really care. My Blue Army just needs to push for Hamburg. Please push for Hamburg. How's that looking? That's a green attack. Okay, Essen is... is uh crap. Lost Essen. Oh, yeah. And if have us cut off over here. Just looking a bit weird, but... Yeah, that's not core territory, so it doesn't really matter. Uh -huh, they take this one. Who dares wins? We lost another pilot there. Okay. Uh, Ship-wise, we are producing what? Still to bombed factories. Still, we could get probably another ship class. Uh, let's go with another line of destroyers. And you'll be to main fleet. Add it to the main fleet automatically. Uh, three factories, that's good. Yeah, because I lost Dort Essen. I guess that's the reason why. Clean up the area. You go in there. And you guys actually move down here. And then I'll have the chance to send them up here. I mean, Red Army's get, got this get bit split, but still. Put them on this front line. Afterwards, how far along? 17%. Yeah, really, so if I take Hamburg, that should probably be it. Because Hamburg is 15 points, right? Yeah. Maybe I have to take Bremen and Wilhelmshaven as well. It's 5 and 5, I think. Yep. Yeah. Or retake Essen. Oh, they're pushing towards Munich crazy hard, actually. They have to retake in Munich there. One division, one division, one division. Ooh. Looks like a final pushback, maybe. Okay, I've taken Hamburg. That means how far along are you? Because they retook Mun Munich. That sucks. What did we lose here? One convoy and they lost quite a lot more. So how about you guys retake Munich? Just because we can. Actually, yep. You're gonna get more territory to occupy. 
definitely over here. So that doesn't happen too fast again. Germany declared war on the Soviet Union? Really? <laughs> That's not a smart choice. <laughs> German breaks the Molotov ribbon contract? Yeah. Because you're stupid. <laughs> Kiel? Yeah, take Kiel. Uh, then I actually extend this front line all the way up here. Eight divisions, yeah. You go up here. Five divisions are doing that. Perfect. That's good. Then control right click on the line. German Reich has capitulated. Finally! So we hit pause here for a second. End of Germany. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That looks nice ish. So you're gonna destroy that. You have orders to destroy that, like a oh, shift in here. All the way to down here, that's good. We are not at war yet with the Soviet Union, that's good. We still need to clean up some territory over here though. With that troops over here, with those 55 troops, we'll get a new front line. All along this border. Which is actually quite good. You go all to this border. First of all, delete all your orders. I'm confused otherwise. Good. Okay, so you, 75, uh, 53 troops, gonna go to this border over here. And you get an offensive plan to go toward this direction. Yep. That looks about right. Then we have uh, my marines. Well, one marine division is left. That's not a lot. Delete all your orders and you get a new front line over here. Kind of working out the way I was hoping. And you get an offensive line. Something like that. That's good. Oh, maybe you shouldn't go ag super aggro mode. Just like balanced. Then we're gonna train some more military police unit. So, quite a lot more actually. 21 divisions. That's good. Need to change the manpower lore from extensive conscription to... That's 5% service by requirement. Gives me 2 point something ma million manpower. Uh, how are we doing on research on the tank? Nearly the way uh, there when I want to be. Like Quite a lot of factories are ready to go. That's all territory that needs to be occupied by military police. Well, I don't think France need to be. No, France doesn't need to be. Because there is no uprising. At the moment at least. I leave it like that for the moment. Italy is all covered. But then Germany and all this territory needs to be covered. I think that should kind of work out. So clean up. Could have done that while the time was running. Really? Really? Nationalist Spain. Joined Axis. Yep, they did join the Axis. Um, but they're not part of the war yet. So, attention, Red Army. Go on to the front. Uh, you're 19, that means 4. Right? 5, 5. Five divisions of that. Six, nah, just one five. I'll set the location. Oh, are we here at the harbor? Nicht crap. I love it when you click on a harbor and that happens. Sussex, that's good. And you'll be part of the Red Army. That's good. You don't do two, maybe three. Set location, Dover, 
and you be part of this front over here. That should be good, that should work out quite nicely. The tanks doing tanks should be... Okay, and they are part of the war now. The troops are getting in position. I'm gonna clean up this part over here. First with my tanks. Yeah, you're doing that, that's good. Greeks are getting in position on the Soviet border. Of course, we are not at war with the Soviets, right? They are at war with a lot of nations, but not with me yet. Not at war with Germany and Slovakia and everything. Will you please take care of that stuff? Well, actually, you do need a front over here. Just realized that. Yep, and you can actually execute that. Please, move in here. You guys are moving through there, that's good. Really, they have already started to push back here. Okay, Red Army then. Towards Madrid. Bluish army, bluish army is done as well, so blue army can come down here as well, get a front line over here. And an offensive line through here as well. Just wait till they are in position, red army should go but not super aggressively, just like in the casual walk speed. Start to kick their butts. Uh, Denmark... Once I said no, I decline, you can keep your division. Definitely can keep your division. You can do whatever you want with this division. That's all good. Ah, Soviets and Greeks are fighting on this border. Which is kinda interesting. I probably need to declare war on the Soviets rather sooner than later. <coughs> Oh, you can attack this, clean up this front line nice-ish. Uh, you could like kill that guy. Thank you. You just take this. Yeah, you're taking it. Perfect. Research-wise, um, yeah, I'll accept that. I have accepted that before. Really perfect. Okay. So that's going to be number four. That's going to be number four. That's all good tank-wise. Nope, I haven't researched the next tank yet. Uh, <laughs> Go with the Lion class super heavy battleship and the Vanguard class battleship. Just because we can. And how far along is the tank? Six more days, and then we can switch production. Which is perfect. Yeah, you're still doing your cleanup move. Have a little bit more of... <laughs> okay. First of all, fill that up. That should be better. That's right. Continue with that. I do need more tanks. Um, train. And... We are short on medium tanks. Okay, cancel that then. We need to produce more tanks. I see, I see, I see. How many factories? Oh yeah, look at that. That's all good. So we will go in here with shift click like that. Get another line of tanks up and ready. Okay, hit pause here for a second. Get another line of tanks ready to go. That should be good. That's good. And we should be done with nearly everything. So we researched that. Two more days and we will have the tank divisions we needed. We need for it. My tanks are kind of in position. Not all of them yet. So I'm going to wait with that attack to start. Red Army, however, is pushing casually. They have cleaned up everything. I need to clean up that down here. 
Jolly good. The US government has agreed to our proposal and have research shared some of their research with our delegation. Jolly good. 150 research fighter models radar. Jolly good. <laughs> Let's just send four divisions. We declined that. We will, however, go in here. And that was... Nuclear technology research. Um... Independence of France. It's still not October yet. It's going to be a little bit further away for that. We could do that, secure Iraq. Or we could continue on here, the Burma Road. Add some land forts over here. Yeah, why not? Ooh, ooh crap. Accidentally activated that. What you're doing? Okay. Now what, guys? I'm going up to speed 5 for the moment. We have the comet now, that's okay. With the comet we can do this and then go to the comet. And then we can upgrade the comet the armor first to five. Main gun a little bit more. Engine. Or maybe main gun to five as well. Engine to two and reliability. Okay. Then we need more points again. Our contribution points, uh, army re army points. So the comet mark one is the strong one. Comet no comet mark one. Where is the comet mark one? There is the comet mark one. That's mark one. That's a Mark 1. That's a Mark 1. Yep, switch that in production. And with that, it's 95, 45 till we can research this. But what I have neglected to do is... First I get this one. Then I go to Brand Carrier level 2. And ugh, keep time running. I always hit pause. I don't know why. It's not really necessary in this kind of games. Oh, we have some more way to go. You can go in here afterwards, and then in here, and then in here. Perfect. And then we have cleaned up all of Africa that way. Probably need to join the war here. I mean, join wars. No, we actually are part of that war. Join wars. There we could join wars, and then we would be at war with the Soviet Union. First get Spain to capitulate, though. I guess that's a smarter choice to do. Mm -hmm. They're not ready yet. How far along are my tank units down here? They're good. They can go. Red army is doing like, yeah, casual attack. Blue army is kicking out the crap out of, the, <laughs> of them. <laughs> I wonder where the Americans have their troops. They have some troops down here. That's not really a lot. Uh, the Russians are pushing in quite hard. I mean, for the moment, I do need 1.1k. Uh, they're upgrading the tanks as we speak. And when they get produced, they get upgraded automatically. We are short of oil again. And give me all the oil you have. Send that. A surplus in oil again. Uh, we can get rid of the steel. Still have a surplus of steel. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Check that out again. Probably need. I need rubber. British Malaya. Give me all the rubber you can. Uh huh. Produce, export, surplus, need tungsten. Get that from British Malaya as well. That looks about right. So I don't waste rubber or anything on... Damn it, they landed again. Okay, you guys can come in here and kick the ass of the Spanish... Well, actually, you know what? front line front line over here and an offensive line all along the coast 
all along the coast to here and execute when ready execute when ready uh, shift tab uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I can't really do that I'm not really broadcasting but yeah sorry about that uh, so, um, one of my viewers want uh, uh, I have in Steam as well wants to watch uh, the broadcast I don't know how that works I just accepted it now for once to see how that goes ooh look at that Greece is having trouble against the Soviet Union against the Soviet Union quite a lot of trouble no decline thank you forgot that this is Spanish territory we have now to deal with as well there is more Spanish territory down here you just should deal with that yourselves guys to be honest uh, okay Indian prize Prince donate fighters oh Oh, they sent 20 planes to me. That's nice. Details. Um, yeah, let's do this. Now, it's not October yet. Next month we can do that. Um, where was it? This army over here needs to clean out this area over here. Yeah. 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 I think that's, that's going to be good. I hit play again. And we still doing uh, Greek has capitulated. That's dark times. There's a little bit of Italy again. Well, I don't care. You can deal with Italy. The Greek want to send us six divisions. We decline. And Belgium wants to send us one division. We decline as well. Use your divisions for yourselves. Please. Okay, nope, this army is good. Blue army here. Uh, you. You stay. You, 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 and you. You will be disbanded. And you can go back to your own territory. That's pretty good. You guys are kind of not doing what you're supposed to do. You're still redistributing yourselves, I guess. Come on, just move in there. Kill. And kill. That would be very nice if you did that. Uh, actually, no. This is more important. Well, not important, but... I'd rather have this one first. Um, why is that? Yeah, of course. Everywhere. <laughs> Okay, uh, how about we will get one line of this out, and then I'm short on what? Nothing. Just took a second to get adjusted. Uh, and they will go. Good. So that means I can actually give them the orders to do. Let me see how is it. Oh, yeah. I need to get everything covered. Everything covered with that. So this over here, over here, over here. All the territory that is needed. Just redistribute yourselves. They actually came to land over there, which is nice. Actually, I should focus on the heavy area around here in Germany first. I think. Come on. Oh, no. Don't, no, don't click on the airport. Damn it. I love that when I click on the airport. Just all the German area, which should result in quite a lot of factories in this area, so I think. I'm actually gonna cover all the area. Then I see how many I need for this territory. It's just the industry heavy territory over here. And then all of France and all of Spain, of course. Spain, we need to wait a little while till they are completely occupied but France is definitely a area which needs to be covered because we can 
We're pushing down here. It's also working out pretty nicely. And yeah. Okay, we have researched that. That's good. And that gives me the next research is... Uh, reconnaissance. That's good. Research that. Details on that. That's done. That's all done. And then we go in here and we can actually get... Oh, Churchill kangaroo. That would be nice. First, we're gonna get a Night Vision 2. Or 1. So my Night Vision fighters are actually better. Uh, Churchill Mark 1. All these factories are destroyed, of course. It's gonna take a while till they are ready with that. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. How about you guys? Yeah. Still doing that. You're doing that. Nobody of you is doing anything. How about you move in here? You move in here. Please. Thank you. Just clean up this area. Okay, Road to Burma has been done. Sanction Japan. Can't do that because we are already in the war with Japan, I guess. We could get this war with Japan. No, we can't because we are. Oh, you look at that. Wartime elections will be held as usual. Yep, yeah, will be held as usual. Um, yeah, let's do that. And keep on. Time running. Time is running on. Oh, look at that. Clearing up the north, clearing up the south. Uh, in... What's that? Valencia! couple of troops in Valencia. Well, sort of. Getting some troubles. Oh, look at that. There's some there's some centurions in there already. Which probably cannot be penetrated. <laughs> Uh-oh. How about you move through here? Make a connection again. Would be nice if you managed to do that. Perfect. So they're not they're not getting overrun there. Valencia has some troubles, but they have quite a lot of divisions in there. So zero out of six enemies can zero out of eight enemies can pierce that tank. Uh, it's just sitting there and getting the shit kicked out of him. That's all good. And uh, otherwise, the front is looking weird, kind of ish. Actually, I'm gonna expand the front all the way around. Actually, I won't. You are part of nothing. You're my marines. My marines can do nothing for the moment. Um, however, this army up here, which is this 57, I'm going to delete your orders one more time and give you a new front line like this. Nationalist Spain has capitulated. Perfect. And when you have this front line, you have the order to go like this. All of Spain has capitulated. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So that means we can do now a Red Army. Red Army can come up here in the north. Well, that's not a, a lot of... Tanks need to go kind of centerish, yeah. So okay, red army comes up here, gets a front line up here, like this. Probably, probably shoot it all the way to the coast, and then you have an offensive line to go towards. I don't know. Wenger class, yeah, that's all good. Lincoln class, you have to our front line to go up to here. Yeah, that looks about right. The tank divisions. Okay, hit pause here for a second. Uh, we'll get a front line kind of centerish between this river up down to this mountainside, and you will have orders to go all the way to Moscow. You're gonna need to get in position. That's all good. You're doing that. That's also good. Probably have to accept the war here. Oh, I clicked it away. I'm an idiot. 
I'm an idiot. Soviet German, yeah. Kind of weird at the moment. Um, why? What is out of date? Ship? Oh yeah, look at that. Um, so you can be choosing the Vanguard class battleship or the super heavy battleship. Lion class super heavy battleship. Yeah, yeah, that's all good. That's all good. Uh, research wise, ooh, a lot of research we can do. It's 43, 43, 43, 44, 43. Marines. Let's research the Marines. Ship wise, that's 50% ahead of time. It's 44. It's nearly 44. 22 days. That's good. I can live with that penalty. And okay, land doctrine wise, we are researching that. That's good. Over here, now nah, we are through with that. Uh, we haven't really started on that, but 25 days to research Spitful. Yeah, why not? Why not? But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. If you did like this episode, please hit the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel or follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Link will be in the video description. And like always, guys, one more time, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.